my name is Sean and I'm a lead videographer and I give DaVinci Resolve a 5 out of 5. Click below for more reviews. So before using DaVinci Resolve I was using Adobe Premiere and also dabbled a little bit with Apple's Final Cut. And the reason why I stopped using those softwares was I really wanted to have a platform which was much more all ingrained so therefore with DaVinci Resolve you get things like um, your scrim edit so you can actually do an edit very quickly uh, which is what you want to use NLE for. Um, I also wanted to have compositing software as opposed to actually flipping over to another program such as Apple's Motion or Adobe's um, After Effects. And I also wanted to have all the uh, colour control that I can get and that was DaVinci Resolve is mainly used for. It was mainly used as a colour program and then it branched out to have more of these features. The other thing as well is that um, it ha also encapsulates um, Fairlight, which is an audio program as well. So then that's pretty much three of um, the programs all built into one, so therefore it's a much more cohesive uh, editing program. And the other main reason why I wanted to stop using Adobe's um, products was I was just tired of the whole endless subscription base. And with DaVinci, it's a buy it once and free upgrades. So the main reason why I started using DaVinci Resolve is because I really wanted to have that all-encompassing platform where there was no fragmentation for the edit. I can simply just go through everything from uh, the basic edit and then go, click one tab and then straight away I'm actually doing some compositing and then I can click another tab and I can go straight into a platform where it's in, in colour. As opposed to using other programs where it would actually open up another program or open up another panel this is all cohesively working together so no part of the edit process is fragmented and it's all working encompassing together there's no load times it literally just works in a snap which is basically what you want when you're actually trying to do an edit when i first started using davinci resolve the editing was fairly simple um what i did find tricky though was when i went over to things like fusion where i've never actually worked in a node based um, editor before so, uh, be, sorry, no based in a compositor. And it was a bit of a learning curve, to be honest with you. And I found it a bit tricky to actually understand some of the concepts and like um, get my head around how it all works. So that took me a few weeks, maybe a month, to get my head around the basics. But like once you get over that, then um, it just is plain sailing. But like for someone that's coming into it completely blind, it makes it a little bit of a learning curve but they can actually get on with it very quickly after having some time experimenting with the software. So for anyone that's actually thinking about um, getting into DaVinci Resolve, if you're looking for something that is just like not a fragmented software and for something that is a lot speedier, um, you just need to get your head around like a little bit of the documentation and just understand some of the core concepts but like once you're through there then it's absolutely fine. The community around DaVinci Resolve and the Blackmagic products has got a lot better since when I first started. There's more tools online, there's more um, documentation, there's more people actually jumping over. So some of like the influencers that I follow on socials, um, they're also like now using it. So it's really good to actually see that it's actually coming all together. Um, so yeah, my main... Um, uh, thing that I'd actually advise to someone is literally just get stuck in really and just like uh, understand the concepts and once you've got your head around them you're going to find a really powerful editing software.